This week was dominated by headlines and the swings in the markets as traders focused on what Powell will do or not, what Putin will do or not, what the president will threaten to do or not, and the chaos caused. But perhaps an 11th hour deal can be done. I propose that Russia remove their tanks if the Olympic Committee allows the Russian skaters to continue doping. So stocks extended their declines on Friday to close a second straight week in negative territory with all of the geopolitical tensions, while the VIX, or the fear gauge, spiked back up to a level near 28, and this all means continued volatility. Before we look at the charts, understand that the current environment is risky, with a long-term monthly chart flashing yellow. We need some resolutions of events and the charts. Right now, the best thing to do is not blow up your portfolio. Right now, exercise your patience and prudence. So, let's take a look at the charts. And today we're going to take a look at two charts beginning here with the volatility index or the fear gauge. And in the upper left you can see the symbol is dollar sign VIX using stockcharts.com. And this is the six month daily chart. And as you can see from late October into early November, see these lows? They seem to be stair stepping on their way up. So volatility is increasing and I think we have the possibility of another eruption that perhaps may go higher than back here which was uh, say above 38. But as you can see in the lower portion of the chart the MACD where the fast line or the black line came down here it bottomed came up here and it uh, trundled sideways a little bit with an attempt to move up got failed reflected back now it's heading back up and just went through the slow line or the red line and it looks like it wants to head on its way up so there's a, a good chance next week even though it's a three-day weekend next week we may have continued volatility and the VIX may spike and if the VIX spikes that means the market is gonna head down so let's take a look at our charts and this is the six month daily chart on the spiders, the SPY, and the close on Friday was 434.23. Now, when we last talked about this, we saw this move down here. I thought it was a little bit uh, truncated. I was expecting it to go down further, but the market wanted to head on up and it ran into that 20 EMA. And I was wondering if we're going to have the power to continue on up. Apparently not. We got that reflection on down here. So next week, if the fear gauge goes up, the market goes down. So perhaps we will go further down here to what I kind of expected is something equidistant to this uh, move down here, which would bring us between 420 and 430. But that would also help complete at least the first stages of the W. The move on down here, bounce up, and then back down again here and hopefully if we move down this far we can have a successful test and then move back on up to complete that W and once again we see that W formation a lot of times here up and down and up and down and then finally on our way up but of course this got reflected back down here but you can see another W here there up down and then away and that's what we're looking for is a move that's going to bring us above 480 but that's a lot to ask for at this time let's take a look at the oscillators volume doesn't show too much other than the fact that this recent move here the volatility or the negativity of the volume isn't extreme yet as it was during this period here but let's watch next week and see what happens moving down here into the mag you can see the attempt at a move that bounce off of the slow line but it was uh, only a minor bounce 
and that uh, move there with this move here the minor bounce being less effective therefore it's heading on down. The fast line has moved through that slow line here. We're in negative territory under that zero. So it means things are weakening. I expect this to come on down here before it has enough strength to bottom base and then head back up and then form that W formation as well. Same thing here in the histogram. You can see in the price rate of change that the fast line moved through the slow line also down below that zero line just barely but it is on its way down so things are weakening not too much but uh, definitely weakening you can see here the weakening from these points on down that trend line or channel moving on down I think we continue on down here again it's not severe it may feel worse than it actually is but uh, I think things are hopefully going to resolve within the next few weeks or so. Stochastic, same thing. We had the uh, the rollover with that fast line heading on down. We're going to probably head toward that uh, oversold territory of 20 or below as we did here. Moving into the Williams, the Williams has already showed the way. It's in that oversold territory below that uh, negative eddy to negative 100. So if we trundle below that uh, negative 80 for a while like we did here I would say that the downward move is the greatest probability that could keep us down here through next week and then maybe into the following week before we get to some sort of move on the way out back up here to the price chart you can see that W formation once again that's what we're looking for is a bounce here into next week and then hopefully later next week into the following week we can start climbing on out but that's a long way to go we'll just have to watch and for today that's chew dog charts thank you